So what ends up happening is it asked me to save uh, that image, okay? Uh, that map that it creates. And this is actually going to be wrong, so I'm just going to call it wrong sig and let it attach it. So the first thing you notice, you go, well, attach. I didn't see it attach anything. That is correct. It didn't really do a whole lot of anything. Um, if I take a look, one of the first things I see is I see an error down in here that says those coordinates are outside the valid range of the GCS. Now, if I had really looked, I would have saw that beforehand as, as well. Uh, it would have actually not displayed it. Uh, and it would have shown that before I even went to the raster manager. So that's sort of the first thing. We'll say, well, let's go look at, you know, I got nothing. And I guarantee there's somebody out, out there, uh, whether you want to admit it or not, that has played around with the WMS and, and had this exact same thing happen. You went, wait a second, it didn't attach anything. Uh, and one of the places that you're going to look is we're going to look at my units inside the file. I'm going to say, all right, well, this is survey feed, survey inches. It's what it should be. Let's go look at the geographic coordinate system. The first thing I see when I look at this, I go, well, I got a geographic coordinate system that's, that's defined. But the first thing I notice is when I look at this, this is using lat long okay, and degrees. What were my units? U.S. survey feet. Well, this certainly is not the correct geographic coordinate system for the area that I'm working in. I happen to be working in, and excuse me for using this, Eric, but it happens to be lo somewhat local to me, is that I'm going to use uh, one that is uh, for North American Datum 83. This is state plane. I'm in the state of Florida. This is Florida East. That is really one of many, but that's the correct geographic coordinate system that I should really be using. One of the things you learned in part one of this SIG is that don't underestimate how the GCS and the units tie into raster images. In a lot of cases, that's the key for getting these to display correctly if they contain the uh, geographic coordinate systems, or excuse me, the units and its locations, positioning. And WMSs are going to have that. So we're going to select the correct geographic coordinate system. Now, I put this in my favorites, folks, but just so you're aware of it, they're all listed in here. We can drill down into North America and into the United States and then pick the state of Florida and go find that one. But I don't want to do that, so I've added them to my favorite. If you're using GCSs, we talked a little bit about that last time. Make sure that you save these off. So I'm going to pick that. You might see a dialogue, and this might confuse some folks that are out there. It sure did me when we first added the GCSs. And that is, what am I going to do? You know, do I need to change that data or just, you know, do I need to reproject the data that's here? Or am I just fixing the geographic coordinate system? I do not want to reproject the files. They're correct. They were all drawn. All the geometry you see is drawn using state plane coordinates. I know it's correct, but I am just going to fix. And the units are correct in the file. I just want to tell it, go change that GCS. So let's not reproject it. And we'll tell it to go out there and do that. And of course you can see it listed over here. Okay, so now let's try this again. Let's see what happens the next time that I go to attach the uh, uh, that WMS. So first off, let's verify that I, that I did that right. You know, for all you know, you see a bunch of geometry here that it doesn't really match up anyway where it needs to go. Let's make sure. So this is a good use of something like the background. Set this to street map there. There we go. What I wanted to do or where I was heading with this is, you know, I went up and I changed the coordinate system. I made sure that it was a local coordinate system that matched my area. I went ahead and attached the Bing maps as an example. A great use of Bing maps is for something like this. I just want a quick background, make sure that the geometry was drawn in the correct place. And in fact, if I zoom out a little bit, we can see this is in City Plantation near Fort Lauderdale here in Florida. So I knew that it's correct. It, it's exactly where it needs to go, you know, uh, in the world. So let's shut this back off. And now let's do that WMS one more time. So let me go over to uh, the drop down for home here and let's go pick that. I already shut it down. 
And let's go back again to new and let's create a brand new WMS. I'm going to select the same exact um, topo map that I had earlier. And again, we're going to attach that layer. And that is really slow today for some reason. Normally this pops right in, but uh, well, anyway, there's the layer. I'll add it. Where I was heading with this is, you know, the first time I had to change the geographic coordinate system, right? And now, you know, if I go and just try this again, and I, I won't bore you with this, but if we take a look at the geographic coordinate system that's defined for this image, it really doesn't match, nor does it have to match what I have over here for my current geographic coordinate system. But one thing that I should know about this is that if I go to attach this, well, you know what, let me do that. That Hopefully that's the last of my issues. I can do this fairly quickly. And let's just call this uh, you know, wrong topo or something and let this attach it. Because what I wanna show you is, you know, when it goes to attach something like that, again, you know, I'm getting, I get nothing in the raster manager. Why is that? Well, we still have a mismatch. If anybody wants to guess, there's a mismatch between what the current geographic coordinate system is and what was just being used. So I had said in here under this layer when I had selected earlier and I had come in here and I had showed you this coordinate system, it was still set to WGS or CRS 84, right? If we take a look at the coordinate system, the little drop down that's here, you can see a couple of them that are displayed. What's different about this? Well, the units that are listed it are degrees. What's my units in the file? US survey feed. I don't mean to overcomplicate this, and I think I am as this was giving me some hiccups, but you know, degrees don't match, right? They're, it's, they're, it's not survey feed. Now, MicroStation can work with degrees. That's not a problem. In the last SIG, we learned how do we get those units to work correctly in MicroStation? We can use the preferences to tell MicroStation that the units of the image are degrees and the units in the design file are in survey feet. We can tell it uh, so it can understand that. Meters and feet, it already understands. They're already listed in there. In fact, that's what I'm going to select as my coordinate system. And this will make a huge difference as I attach this. Now, when I go and save this and let's just um let's give this uh, uh i'll just overwrite the the same one that's here that should be fine i have no idea what's occurring here it's not i think i'm having more problems than i should be i think it's having some trouble hitting the server folks that slowness is part of it. I'm going to try this one more time, and if it doesn't function, I'll move on to something else and come back to this. I was having trouble with that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, folks, I don't know what I was doing there. I must have made some, some mistake here. But So when we go to attach that, um, when we hit attach in here, if I have selected, which I did, the correct um, you know, uh, geographic coordinate system, it will attach and display correctly. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out a little bit. In fact, if I go ahead and select that and we'll do a fit, you can see there's the topo it took a second to display it's much slower than it needs to be but you'll notice as i zoom out you'll see it it stays on the screen as i zoom in you can see it gets a little blurry it needs to load it uh there it updated i just keep zooming in it's going to take a second to update to display that area well one of the things that you notice right away obviously you're at the mercy of the internet a little bit here right uh this actually is a little slower than what i'm used to um, but it does still update. It's taken a few seconds to update. This is why I was mentioning earlier, the WMS format is not ideal for what we might want to do. And I will tell you that the smaller the image, the 
faster this is going to work. It just makes sense. If I uh, zoom in to about here, you can see an update. It'll clear up in a second. It'll update. But it takes a minute. You're paying a penalty every single time you zoom in and zoom out. If this is the area that I want, I definitely want to limit this to just this area because, frankly, it's having to deal with all of this. That's my little area. And if you're used to, you know, the geography of the U.S., this is pretty much the whole peninsula of Florida minus uh, the western part of it. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.